Hi, I'm Scott Powell, Managing Director of Technolab. Today I'd like to show you how to service the sensor on an OxyGuard portable dissolved oxygen meter. We should change the membrane when the reading is fluctuating, taking time to stabilise, giving an incorrect reading, or the actual membrane is physically damaged. Other than that, no routine maintenance is required. To service the probe, remove the membrane protector. Unscrew to remove the cap, and you may notice a small amount of electrolyte inside. Simply dispose of the electrolyte. Being a galvanic cell, it has an anode and a cathode on the end. Therefore, without any electrolyte, there's no voltage from the probe whatsoever. So when the probe is clean and dry, there should be a zero reading. If you're finding there's a background reading between 0.1 and 0.2 milligrams per litre, the probe may require a little further cleaning. Or, if the background reading cannot be removed by cleaning and drying, then the instrument may need to be returned to Technolab for further investigation. You may also notice white deposits around the probe. These are dried electrolyte salts. You can clean these with a scouring pad which comes part of our kit. It's very important just to give the end of the probe a light scour in a rotating fashion to gently clean the cathode. The probe is now clean, dry and bright. The meter reads zero and we're now ready to change the membrane. The universal tool supplied in the kit will open the back of the meter and also removes the template which is holding the membrane in place. Simply rotate to take the template out of the cap. Use a small screwdriver to carefully remove the membrane. You'll also need to remove the small O-ring too. The O-ring and the membrane should always be changed at the same time. The cap can then be rinsed in fresh water and any white powdery crystals will be dissolved once cleaned. To reassemble, we replace the O-ring first. A pack of 10 membranes and O-rings comes as part of the kit. The O-ring goes in the bottom of the cap. It's handy having something to move the O-ring into place. Next, take a membrane from the pack. Remember to remove the paper separator too. Place the membrane roughly into position towards the bottom. Then screw the template about two thirds of the way down. Invert the cap and tap the membrane down onto the template. The membrane should be rotating on top of the template. This is self-centering the membrane. Continue to screw the template until it feels home. Be careful not to over tighten as the membrane may wrinkle and not seal correctly. The next step is to add some electrolyte. Three quarters full. Take the probe, a few turns, the reading will now spike to a high value. This is a good sign and a good response from the probe. The reading will then head back towards 100% quite quickly. Flick the side of the probe just to release any air bubbles. And any excess electrolyte will drip out and tighten firmly. We can now dry the membrane as it's quite robust. Replace the probe protector and that's done. The meter will now need 10 to 15 minutes for the probe to reach equilibrium for temperature and the dissolved oxygen value to stabilise. Then the meter is ready for calibration. Simply go to the menu, push calibrate and OK. Whilst the meter is calibrating, you may find over the next 24 hours that you'll have to calibrate the meter every time you turn it on. This is because the probe needs to come to true equilibrium. Calibration done, the meter is now ready for use. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this useful.